Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. We're going to delve into something deep and dark and a little uncolorful today. Prepare yourself. I'm preparing myself for the heat drenched Florida sun that I have been in all morning filming. A new adventure channel for my Adam the Woo channel. Now I'm sitting here in my van in Port Orange, Florida. The air conditioning is blowing. That's probably why you hear the rotation of the air conditioning fans blowing against my face. It feels very good, but I'm not talking about that. We're taking it back to a very sad, dark story. A haunting past, if you will, in Port Orange, Florida. And basically it happened right in the two to three block radius where I am sitting right here. A lot of historical craziness if you will. I wanted to say goodness, but let's be honest, it was not goodness. When you think of serial killers, who do you think of? You usually think of people in the male persuasion. Did I do the intro? It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the daily female serial killer version. That doesn't even sound right. Why are we talking about serial killers? And why are we talking about female serial killers? I'm talking about Eileen Warnos who was probably the most famous female serial killer that I could probably think of. If you can think of another one, definitely be sure to chime in with a comment. Port Orange, Florida is where she resided from 1989 to 1990. In fact, they made a movie about her starring Charlize Theron, Christine Rich, Christina, not Christine. She's tiny and teeny. So that's maybe why I call her Christine, but it's Christina Ritchie. And actually, Charlize Theron, is it Charlie's or Charlie's Theron? It doesn't matter because she did a fantastic job portraying Eileen Warnos, and she actually won the Academy Award. And it was all based right over here. And a lot of those hotel scenes in the movie were based on the hotel that was right there. It was called the Fairview Inn. It's actually changed ownership and changed names, but take a look at this. This is the inn. This is the motel. Right across is the street where Eileen Warnos lived from 1989 to 1990. It's definitely a pretty morbid, sad tale. Uh, when she was convicted, she actually was put on death row and actually given the death penalty by lethal injection. When she was caught, she was caught. She was living in that hotel, that motel, if you will, and would walk up the road to a bar where she actually frequented. That's where they caught her, and in fact, in real life, she would visit there, and they caught her there before she went to prison. So the last days out of prison were actually spent at that hotel, motel. What's the difference between a hotel and a motel? I think a motel is one level, ground level. Like, that is a motel as opposed to a hotel. So the last days of freedom, if you, if you want to call it freedom, were spent in that motel, and the last moments were at the bar. And I'm going to show you up close and personal. I have it in drive, which means I put it back in reverse, but if you heard the mechanisms of this, I would have actually ran into that palm tree. If I would not have put it in reversed and actually kept it in drive, we would have actually had a casualty by smashing my van, torso of my van into, they put this right here, drive across the street. Did you guys ever see the movie? I know it's a very interesting subject. It's not really a typical happy subject in any way, shape, or form. She actually had seven victims, all males. She was actually, what do they call it? A streetwalker, a prostitute, if you will. She sold her body, and she did not like that at all. So what ended up happening? She ended up, I guess, had a little craziness in the head, if you will, and she ended up killing a lot of the quote-unquote patrons. Very hard to keep this clean because it's a very interesting subject. But I do all kind of wacky stuff here on these daily vlogs. So heck it, we're talking about serial killer Eileen Warnos. She actually resided right over here in room number nine.
Room number nine is where she stayed. They've actually changed the name of the hotel. It's now called the Scoot Inn, opened by a biker that actually opened it up. It actually took over the old, I think it was called the Fairview Inn. He took it over, cleaned it up. It's in a lot better shape than it once was back when Eileen Warnos lived there for a year in room number nine. The crazy thing about this hotel is room number four also was home to two male killers who actually killed a woman and spread her body parts around Central Florida. It's demented. This is a demented vlog. Why are we talking about this? I'm actually looking back on this thinking maybe we should not have delved into the scary nether regions of Central Florida. Well, actually, this really isn't Central Florida. It's more like Western Central Florida, West Coast Central Florida. Nether regions of scariness. You know, the thing about these vlogs, sometimes they're really campy, really happy, goofy stuff. Whack. Speaking of goofy stuff, I'm actually wearing a Disney shirt talking about serial killers. The tie-in does not make any sense at all. So basically, she would walk from her hotel, walk down here about two blocks to this bar that I'm going to show. It's called the Last Resort Bar, I believe is the name of it. If you've ever seen the movie, at the very end of the movie, I'm gonna recommend the movie to you, but please only if you are an adult because it is definitely a rated R, maybe even a rating above that. It's definitely an adult film because of the subject matter, what I've explained to you. There's definitely a lot of adult nuance, adult language, and adult theming. That being said, if you are an adult and you want to watch the movie, it was actually a, a very well done movie. But just keep in mind, it's definitely not a children's film. The movie is called Monster, which is the nickname that Eileen Warnos had. Eileen, quote unquote, Monster Warnos. And if you've ever seen any interviews with her, she definitely was an interesting, very interesting character. And based on her profession, you got to wonder if that had something to do with what persuaded her to do and become what she did. Who knows? I am not a psychologist or an expert on human nature at all. So what do I know? All I know is there were some very, very evil, crazy things that happened in this area. And it all ended, her freedom ended right here at the last resort bar and grill. It's coming right up. That's it, the last resort. It says it's world famous. I would imagine probably the most famous thing. Actually, the probably the most famous thing that has ever happened there was probably Eileen Warnos actually inside. I've heard they actually have some photos of her, some of her sayings that she actually signed the wall in there. They did a lot of the filming locations in there as well. The guy that was in The Burbs, the crazy neighbor, he was actually in that movie too, playing a non-comical role. I can't remember his name. Does anybody know the neighbor in The Burbs who was also in the movie Monster? And they filmed it right in there. One of the few places that's actually a filming location that was actually based on and actually happened in the historical actual place, which is actually kind of cool. But it's not cool what she actually did. She killed seven men, and when she was convicted, she was convicted on six counts of first-degree murder. That's a lot. That's a lot of murdering. Six counts. I should probably get out and show you really quick, like, show you the sign and explain to you the final scene of the movie monster if you've ever seen it. It actually was shot right here. There's actually a scene where Eileen Warnos, the character plays by, played by Char Charlie, not Charlie, Charlie? Charlie, I can't say that very, it's very difficult to say that. Charlie's Theron actually walked out of the bar. They had a crane shot going up and the FBI agents, the undercover agents dressed as bikers actually caught her and that's when she was escorted off to prison. Her freedom, her killing prowess, freedom, 
was completed. No more freedom for Eileen Warnos. And if one other interesting subject, if you're a fan of movies, Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. Who? That played Jason Voorhees in parts 7, 8, 9, 10, and beyond. Kane Hodder is who I'm referring to. I was drawing a blank for a second. I was going to ask you if you knew who it was. Kane Hodder actually played the biker. This is a little movie history, a little vicarious movie history. Kane Hodder played the biker that caught Eileen Warnos right over there on that sidewalk. Right there, right there, right there. So that's pretty cool. Movie history and some very dark, demented human nature tragedies right here at this location in Port Orange. This is a little different for a daily vlog, but you know what? I do a video every day. It's unedited. Sometimes they're happy. Sometimes they're sad. Sometimes they're a little creepy and scary. And sometimes it brings out the ugliness in some people. Originally, when she actually was brought to court, she said it was all in self-defense. And I think the first one or two people that she murdered, that's crazy to talk about someone like that, that just someone that murders another person. The first one or two could have been conceived as, what am I trying to say? Self-defense. But then later on, as it progressed into three, four, five, six, and seven, it was announced by her that basically she just hated the human race, wanted nothing to do with it, and she decided that that was how she was going to seek her revenge in her mind for whatever reason. If you're an adult, this is an adult daily vlog. I know a lot of people say, I'm glad you guys do. I'm glad you, not you guys. I'm not speaking for me. I have, I have one person in my brain, unlike Eileen Warnos, who probably had two or three people in her brain. I'm not comparing myself to her in any way. But a lot of people say, hey, Adam, I'm glad that you do videos where they keep it clean for kids. And this is keeping it clean. But if you are an adult and you want to go over to YouTube and look up some Eileen Warnos clips, I'm not going to stop you because she is an interesting character. Definitely a couple of things she says makes a little bit of sense, but a lot of it is just off the cuff craziness, kind of like other serial killers. When you watch some of them, some of the stuff they say makes a little minute bit of sense, this much sense. And then the rest is just nonsense, but very interesting to watch. But I encourage you, children, do not go search for any serial killer interviews in prison. Anyway, I'm going to end this on a happy note. Woo! Hope you guys are having a great day. This was an interesting subject. A two for vlog. Two locations in one vlog. Like I was saying earlier, I actually filmed a video earlier. A video adventure video for my adventure channel, which I should have uploaded in a few days. You're going to love it. It has something to do with Disney. So you definitely... Speaking of Disney also, I'm going to be out in Anaheim. Gosh, next Thursday, a week from this Thursday, I'll be flying out to Anaheim. I'm spending 18 days in the Los Angeles, Anaheim area. But more on that later and more information about that on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram pages, which I will link down below. And I hope you go find me over there. Join me over there. Shall you? Yeah, I very rarely use the Join Me Shall You on the Daily Channel. That's usually on my second main channel. I guess it would be my first main channel, the Adam the Woo channel. But you know what? Heck it. I'm bringing Join Me Shall You today. Join me. I can't even talk. Shall you? I think I'm a little creeped out by being here in this spot. That bar is actually still active. I think it's a pretty popular biker bar. All right. Going to let you guys go. What would you guys think about this vlog? Do you think I should do an entire spectrum of different subjects? So I stick to one subject, the beauty of this daily vlog, not only the fact that it's unedited, but it also gives me the capability of actually doing anything and everything. I feel like doing what my little heart desires to do. And my heart desired to do this today, even though it is a dark story. I don't know if anyone's ever actually filmed the hotel, the motel, room number nine. You can actually stay in that room. And then you can walk down to this bar and have yourself a beer or maybe a daiquiri. Even though I don't think... Bikers drink daiquiris. So you probably can't have a daiquiri, but if you want to relive the stomping grounds of the most famous female serial killer from 1989 to 1990, seven people in this area. Can you guys think of anyone else that's female that has the notoriety 
Besides maybe Bonnie from Body and Clyde, what other female has that evil persona notoriety? Leave some comments down below. No more dark subjects for today. Have a great day. I'm going to end this with a song. Have a great day. No more talking about sad things. It's all about the goodness that you possess. And what's going to be tomorrow's vlog is going to be so happy. I'm going to make up for the sadness that I've discussed with you today. And I'm going to give you the happiest vlog ever tomorrow. So stay tuned. And make sure you subscribe because that's the only way you're going to see tomorrow's vlog as far as you know. Have a great day. Bye.